Smoke it! Set the lion. Why did you kill one of Mother Owl's babies? Okay, said the monkey. It was a crow's fault. He was calling, calling to warn us of danger. And I went leaping through the trees to help. A lamp broke under me and fell a tay on the owl's nest. The king said to the console, so it was the crow who alarmed the monkey who killed the owlet and now the mother owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. When the king called the crow, the big bird came flapped, flapping up, he said, The King Lion, it was the rabbit's fault. I saw her running for her, her life in the daytime. Wasn't that the reason, though, the, to spread the alarm? The King nodded his head and said to the council, So it was the rabbit who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now the owl, mother owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. King Lion called the rabbit and to my little creature stood before him, one trembling paw drowned up unsanitarily. Rabbit, called the king. Why did you break the law of nature and go running, running, running in the daytime? Oh, king, said the rabbit. It was the five dollars fault. I was in my house minding my own business when the, that big snake came. And chased me out. <sighs> the king, my the king, said to the consul, "So it was the python who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now the mother owl won't wake the sun, so the day can come." King lion called the python, who king. Slurbin passed through the other animals, but the king, but king, he cried, it was the iguana's fault. He wouldn't speak to me, and though he was plotting some mischief against me. When I crawled through into the rabbit's hole, I was only tried to hide. The king said to the council, So it was the iguana who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now the mother owl won't wait the sun so the day can come. And now, the iguana was not at the meeting, for he had not heard the summon. The antelope was sent to fetch him. All the animals laughed. When they saw the iguana coming to boo boo with the sticks still stuck in his ears, King Lion pulled out the sticks when he asked the asked iguana when he asked iguana what evil have you been plotting against? 
the python. None, not at all, cried the iguana. The python is my friend. When why? Won't you say good morning to me? Demanded the snake. I didn't hear you. Even. Or even see you, said the iguana. Mosquito told me such a big lie. I can bear to listen to it. So I put sticks in my ears. <laughs> Laughed the lion. So what? So that's why you had sticks in your ears? Yes, said the iguana. It was the mosquito's fault. Really? No music? Huh? King Lion said to the console, So it was the mosquito who annoyed the iguana, who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now the mother owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, punish the mosquito! Punish the mosquito! cried all the animals. When the mother owl heard that, she is, she was satisfied. She turned her head towards the east and hooted. Woo! 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 And the sun came up. While the mosquito had listened to all of to all from the nearby bush. She crept under the curly leaf and was never found and brought before the console but because this of this of this the mosquito was guilty was a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes whining into people's ears. See, is everyone still angry at me? When she does that, she gets an honest answer. So that is why Mosquitoes buzz into people's ears. Well, that would call it a sacrifice for me. Yeah, of course, Spitta. I hope you enjoyed this story. Just hit the subscribe button and leave a like. So, bye-bye. I see you in the next video.